Hey guys, Lucas here for your live electronic music tutorials episode 350 guys, that's quite a lot of episodes. If you got a minute, check out in the link below on the side of the video. Like I said, it's episode 350, so we have another 349 to watch. What I do in those episodes guys is simple, I make music in real time. So basically I start recording now, I have an open project here, it's completely empty. And today I will make you some melodic house, 124 BPM. I did like a very simple chord progression that I practiced a little bit earlier to start a track and of course every single episode of this show that I get confused <laughs> every single episode of this show guys comes with templates that are in the link below about the template that is playing right now that's what I meant to say but I got lost in my head so the track that is playing right now is the final result of what I will make so basically I make the video and of course once the video is done I finish the track of course, I do a bit of a montage, audio montage, but what you see is basically what it is. I just added the track over the top of it. And like I said, there will be templates in the link below. Yes, you have to pay a little bit for it because, you know, I have to make a living like all of you. You guys make a living? You know, maybe you don't make a living. Maybe you just in a cave somewhere. Maybe you're all in the Matrix, guys, and you're connected. You know, but no. So basically, check it out, guys, in the link below on our site, QueenMakeDanceMusic.com. You have to check it out somewhere here. Listen to the track. I think it's gonna be a cool one because it's inspired. I just went for a run. And guys, you have to also check out our services. Basically, I do services, I do consulting. I'm in the music industry for 30 something years now. And I do consulting, we do rework, we do a lot of special things. And I'm about to launch a brand new service where you will be able to come here in the studio. Lots of room, room to sit, like probably 12 people here with the other side. And you can come here and do some music with me for a day. Yes, it's a bit expensive, but you get to work with somebody who's got 20 years experience in production, who love to be with people, who can make the track you want. Maybe you want to make some progressive house, maybe you want to make some deep house, maybe some trance. I really love to make all those tracks and I have the tool in my head, the tool right here, I have a proper sound system. We can make music super loud in here. This is the space for music, so you have to check out the link below in the services. And that's it guys, let's get started right away. So 350 guys, 350 episodes. I mean, it's starting to, to be quite a few, I would say. So I have absolutely nothing, you know, the only thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop, drop the speaker, put in my headphones here and I'm gonna do. I start super basic, C. So basically C, one, and then four, and then two, and then six. You know, so this is my idea. So basically, first, I think I think I will record those chords. I think I'm gonna get a bit stabby or something just to record the idea that I have. So that's basically it, guys. So this is the idea that I had. So I'm Control A, Quantize. It's bad. My mic is in the middle of the way. It's better for you guys because you won't hear me. Hit the keys and hit, hit like you know the mice, the mice and stuff is is better when it's in this setup. However, it's in the middle of the way for me, so I have to think about it. I'm not used to. I think I need a better arm to really put it straight into my mouth, but I think it's a lot better already. So that's. Definitely not the sound. Definitely this here, and then the last part, same here. So there's a bit of a delay already in there, but I mean, this is definitely not the sound that I would, I would use for that. I'm, I think I'm gonna go leads. I'll try to find some kind of, you know, melodic housey kind of, I actually had an idea while I was making my coffee earlier and I think I will put it into practice guys so what I'm gonna do go here I'm gonna do silent one instrument uh, manage digital stereo and I'm gonna go into the banks here oh there's a new version available no uh, definitive collection here um, I had an idea to to, 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 to to do kind of a melody key kind of uh -huh. 
something maybe like this. Not quite. I hope it didn't. Oh, I still I'm on the Old school Faxon Berlin vibe. So I'm gonna go right away and punch in some percussions right here. I mean, it's not, not that I'm actually recording anything special. I'm gonna put it, of course, into the channel here. <clears throat> the key I'm gonna keep for this here is C, so I will keep the C actually. I don't know about you guys if you put your drum in key, but I think it's always a good idea to have a better mix to have everything clean. Like in here, I want to go a bit old school kind of melody key kind of thing. Just create myself a little bus with a silver verb to get a bit of an ambience in the back with that. I think I feel like doing a little trick here. So the silver verb gonna send. It's a big it's a big room, right? So what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm gonna use dynamics, I'm gonna use a compressor right here. I'm gonna take my chord signal here. So instrument, uh, this is lead faxing Berlin. Where is that is? Faxing Berlin here. So I'm gonna use the source. So basically I use the keys to compress the verb. So when the keys will play, the keys will, the, the verb will get, will get subdued. So without, the, the verb is there, it's a bit too present, with. So when the keys hit, there's more presence and the verb is there, but it, it's, it's compressed. I mean, it's a trick that I heard, I heard it was a um, cosmic gate trick. I met them personally, like quite a while ago. I didn't make some music with them, but I got a chance to sit with them and do an interview. Really nice guys. Really, really surprisingly wow. But, uh, So we start with that. It's very basic. I mean, you know, this is not like I'm not gonna make like a very advanced kind of melodic track. I'm gonna use those elements and kind of make the mess the, the best out of those. So I want to start building a bit of percussion so we have To be honest, this sound, well, I will keep it now, but uh, it doesn't quite do the job. I'm looking for something more string, super soul, super soul, super soul. a bit better. Definitely a better groove. I think right away what I will do to go with that is a bass. <clears throat> bass, but I will do the bass by hand. It's probably two keys, not that that many. I think I'll go with with silent one. You know, well, I open silent one now, so might as well get into it and do something with it. Let's see what we have. Be 
you some bass hits from here. I'm gonna delete the keys too, oops. One second, guys. Did I? I deleted them again. <clears throat> Let's see if the pad will, will work here. I like this vibe, it's nice. Gonna stay smooth in the back. Okay. It definitely works. Okay, sidechain trick number two. Another compressor, and of course, with the kick this time. Want the kick to push the bass. Maybe not this intensely. So of course when the kick is hitting the bass is ducking, we call that ducking, so it's getting compressed. Let's bring a little bit more length, so if I want to record let's say a melody on top, I could hear like a piano-y kind of vibe, something. Let's try both actually of these together. Add a little bit of tone. I admit that I like better this one. Nice vibe there. This is the snare. I keep on lowering it and it just seems to be piercing through. Now I'm gonna drop some hats, of course. I like those open hat from this kit. Oop open at from the kit deep tech you're gonna get it if you get the templates it's gonna be in the sampler of the dot of your choice oh, I love those hats might sound ridiculous you know to love hats but if you make music for a long long time you know there's some stuff just works and some don't necessarily work so I know these works very well Did I push save? Ah, oh, sorry guys, old reflex. Oh, I'm just gonna close it. Now I'm thinking like some kind of a glassy kind of lead, like a bit epic. Then we'll go keys. And then this one I'm gonna, of course, send to my verb boss that I created. I don't want it to be so dry that when I play it's 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 I'm not sure I got the right channel here. Probably not. No, that's not it at all. Oh this is nice because there's the compression from the lead too. This is super cool. So I feel like some, you know, happy melodic house beach kind of thing. This one wasn't bad. Mm. So also, of course, has to...
mean, it's cool, but no. I think I will switch to another scent now because if I don't get what I want I have an idea and I'm going straight to something else of course and it's gonna be like an Anjuna pad but I'm not gonna use it as a pad of course I'm gonna open it a little bit Much more inspiring to start with for me. do like a, this single key kind of thing here kind of nice and then we can play with the left foes can play with you can play with <clears throat> many different elements to make this interesting I mean we already have a key progression different elements that are moving so what I would like to do probably to start is to a little bit but trying to get this the sound a bit more like cleaner and of course if we send it hmm, not super keen on this but it's, it's let's continue working on the track drop this I think my first idea might have been the one that I should have used. I was thinking really to drop a piano in there. It's not always easy, guys. Because pianos work with electronic music, but not always. And depending on the key, depending on the idea, it's not always a plus. So it could be, it could get very good. <clears throat> or it just can get, I think, plain weird.
extend the range a little bit. So if at least I have an idea, I can play it a little bit. The idea is to create like a simple kind of arpeggio piano without using an arpeggiator, of course, just using the keys. Or are we gonna make it? Sometime complicated is good, sometime it isn't. Let's see if it will work this time. Quantized a lot. I think this will be two different parts, if so, but at least one would be this and see if we repeat it. the second part. Hmm. I definitely like if I better the second one. So I will eliminate this and I will go probably here in the velocity of the key check where we're at because it's, it's a bit weak in the middle so you gotta say because the mic is in the way I cannot see my keyboard <laughs> it's, it's a bit odd but yeah I have to improve the setup here so now, you know, after a while that I'm working on the track, the bass is kind of getting in the way of my, my, my ideas. I like to turn everything down sometime and just get the minimum and then get to work on a new idea, you know? So I'm gonna take the same bass kind of. Or maybe not. an old sunset but I don't really personally I don't really care kind of bendy a little bit. I think I'll try to do something with it. Might as well try to do something else, you know, to try to record some beat, do some new, something new. Really like that. Let's cut the. Let's cut everything. Is there anything else? Playing? Just the bass, okay. Oh, because there's the our our famous reverbs on there. Let's play with the the synthesis a little bit. Let me give it a bit more. Release. Not too much. 
Definitely copy it and just browse a little, just in case we hear something extraordinary. Big stuff, but uh, definitely, this is definitely the best part of this. a certain happiness to it let's bring the pad oh now we're we're completely off the first keys of course because we we did something new but it's working with this here it's gonna work with this here too So maybe another track inside of the track, because if we go back to our original idea here, it's darker. Hmm, actually like this when I go back to it. But again, let's put down some ideas, create, you know. I know what is missing. I mean, there's a bass pad, but we don't have literally like a pad. I think some kind of pad is kind of necessary in this genre, so... The pad... I think I will go back to Alchemy. get a little bit more of a vibe, like a bit more of a feel. The piano here, I think I will kind of put some treatment onto it in the sense, <clears throat> I'll put an insert. I'm gonna do like a step effect, try to make it more interesting because it isn't quite, not so Can of course play with the mix here. Oh, I like that. This is cool. Let's keep it, copy it, and browse a little. No, I think we had it right here. 
to really preserve kind of the feel of the piano. Sorry, guys. But we kind of had this kind of feel. Then we want to send it maybe a bit more to our verb. All of these, I'm not sure what are they doing there. Oh, I think it was quite cool with it then. So, there's some happy melodic action here. Thing is, this filter here, I could cut it to here. And then reopen it here. So I think we have the elements to start a track. And what do I do, let's say for me, when I'm here, I do, I want to look at the time of the track, so we're only at two minutes, so I think this segment here, I'm gonna replicate it, make it into a track, and then think what, what would be the most important element of this track that I would like to emphasize on, you know, what would be the heart of the track? You know, it could be this. The pad is nice, I don't think it's gonna be the main. This could definitely work. And you know, thinking, thinking about the, the bass that I've used here and the keys, you know, at some point I could, I could use the same keys and check my melody here. Literally check, check, check my melody and use the sequence. I would like to be able to select all of them though, so it would be much easier. Okay, so let's say that <clears throat> I literally replicate the, the melody of the bass key that I've done. Yeah, they, there's no, the velocity is not the same, of course, but just for the sake of, of this, oh, we we'll get the same key on the second here. You see what I'm doing is I'm basically using the other keys that I compose and adapting it to the other the other bass key that I've played. <clears throat> so they will be, I'll preserve the groove, but I will have the right keys for our first idea. Oops, something didn't happen like it was supposed to. I'm supposed to copy it like this, and then supposed to copy it again like this. I can refine it later, but just for now, and then <clears throat> the same happened. So there was some, some matching keys there that were... There, I can play with the length a little bit later. So now I just want to see what it would be like to have the bass sound, but with, uh, of course, a different... Cut the bass pad. Oh, well, I did something... I did the right thing. So I've done everything but but what I wanted to do. So this bass here is the bass that I want to use with these keys here. So let's put this bass here and listen. Mm. Obviously I'm making, I'm missing some keys somehow. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like this first bit. Let's put it in the mix. I would do those four the first here that I had. So those, this, this bass with a longer key works well. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, so halfway here. I like that. Definitely some progress here. So 
So what I'm doing in those episodes, guys, is to be creative. So I'm trying to output as much idea as I can. And of course, what I do after this is I really put in a lot of work and I make a track for you guys. It's going to be in the link below. It's going to be the template. So this is the first kind of bit where I put down the ideas. I don't know if you guys do the same. Let me know in the comment below. And this is going to be it for episode 350 of Your Life Electronic Music.